Raging Bolt EX may not have the hype behind it like some of the other decks in the Temporal Forces format, but that's not a reason to sleep on Raging Bolt. It is one of the most devastating attackers in the game and can fit into many different deck archetypes. So today, let's take a look at Raging Bolt EX. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Raging Bolt EX. It is a dragon type Pokemon with 240 HP, and because it's dragon type, it has no weakness, which is fantastic. It's got three retreat, very hard to move, but we do have some great attacks to compensate. We have Burst Roar for one colorless energy, lets you discard your hand and draw six cards. If you find yourself in a jam, you can use this to refresh your hand. Hopefully you've got a Ancient Booster Capsule handy so you can boost its HP up to 300, making it hard for your opponent to one hit KO on the following turn. And then from there, we've got Bellowing Thunder, where for a Lightning and a Fighting Energy, you can discard any amount of basic energy attached to your Pokemon Pokemon and do 70 damage for each one you discard. Now it doesn't have to be lightning or fighting energy you discard, and it doesn't have to be discarded off the raging bolt you're attacking with, which makes it a very versatile attacker. You can play this with Palkia, which we're going to do today. You can play it with Lost Box. You can play it with Gardevoir. You can play it with just straight up Sandy Shocks. You can play this a number of different ways, some of which haven't even been explored yet, which makes it a very versatile attacker. And today we are playing it with the Palkia engine. And we also have Sandy Shocks in here as well, but let's start with the Palkia. Palkia is such a great partner for Raging Bolt EX because it's one, it's a great attacker in and of itself. Subspace Well for only two water energy does 60 damage plus 20 damage for each Pokemon on the bench, yours and your opponents. So before any sort of damage modifiers, this is doing 260 damage. And with only two energy and you don't have to discard any energy along the way, incredibly efficient attacker that can help stabilize your offense. On top of that, its Star Portal ability lets you accelerate up to three water energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Not only does this help power up Palkia, it also helps power up Radiant Greninja, which can be an attacker with that Moonlight Shuriken attack to snipe out 90 damage on two of your opponent's Pokemon, helping you take out two smaller prizes. Or you can just use it as discard fodder for Raging Bolt's attack. And I've used it in all of those ways and it's awesome. We also have, yeah, Radiant Greninja is also great in this deck besides being a tertiary attacker. Its concealed cards ability is so good, lets you discard an energy and then draw two cards, and you can reattach water energy with Palkia. You can also use Sada's Vitality to attach to the ancient Pokemon, so lots of amazing synergy with the Raging Bolt, the Palkia, and the Greninja. And I also like the Sandy Shocks in here as well. Its Magnetic Absorption ability is a ability where when your opponent has four or fewer fewer prize cards remaining you get to absorb a fighting energy from your discard pile to the sandy shocks and if you've got multiple sandy shocks in play you can get multiple energies out so towards the mid to late game you can very quickly power up your sandy shocks either as a desperation attack but really just more energy on the board for raging bolt ex to attack for trainer cards, we've got Vitality Band, which can help you do 10 more damage. It's not a lot, but for Raging Bolt in particular, it's the difference between hitting 210, which is a little short of knocking out most basic EXs and Vs with only three energy, or hitting 320 or 220, and that's enough that you can knock out basic EXs and basic Vs, most of them anyway, with only three energy instead of four. So only one of these, oftentimes you're gonna want the Ancient Booster Capsule on instead, but to hit that very specific breakpoint that does come up quite a bit, Vitality Band is great for that. We have four copies of Earthen Vessel, lets you discard a card and draw two energy from your deck. Whether you're looking for the lightning, the fighting, or the water, this is great to get it out into your hand. One copy of Super Rod to recover any sort of Pokemon or energy from your discard pile in any combination of three up and take them from your discard pile, put them back into your deck. We have four copies of Sada's Vitality, massive card in this deck, lets you attach one energy to two of your ancient Pokemon and then draw three cards. A great way of helping to power up that bellowing thunder attack from Raging Bolt as well as drawing cards. 
four copies of Ultra Ball, discard two, grab a Pokemon of your choice. I love the energy switch here. This can be great for getting energy from your Sandy Shocks over to your Raging Bolts. Can also help you get energy from between your Greninja to your Palkia or what have you. Lots of different ways where energy switch works, but it's a fantastic card moving energy where it needs to go. Two copies of Town Store in order to grab our tools, such as that Vitality Band, but mostly the Ancient Booster Capsule to make our Ancient Pokemon very beefy. Two copies of Professor's Research, discard our hand, draw seven, one of the best draw cards in the history of the Pokemon trading card game. There might be times where you don't want to discard stuff here and there, that's why we've got two, and we want to play Sada most of the time, so only two copies of Professor's Research is fine here. Prime Catcher is the ace spec of choice, lets us switch one of their bench Pokemon into the active, and then we get to do the same with our bench, switching our active with a bench Pokemon, and it's a great sort of boss's orders alternative uh, tied to an item and that's always fantastic palpad here to get our two supporters from our discard pile back into our deck great way of getting sada back in the mix three copies of poke gear 3.0 lets you look at the top seven cards of your deck and grab a supporter that you find there again we do have other supporters besides sada's vitality but oftentimes we just want sada's vitality so poke gear can help us dig for it when we don't have it one copy of Judge for Hand Disruption. Both players shuffle their hands into their deck and draw four cards. Sometimes you'll want that. One copy of Boss's Orders. There's a lot of stuff we're squeezing in here, and oftentimes just blasting the active is fine. So uh, between Prime Catcher and Boss's Orders, I find that's enough. Three copies of Ancient Booster Capsule to up our Ancient Pokemon's HP by 60. This is great for bumping Raging Bolt all the way up to 300 HP, which is very hard for most decks to one-shot. Three copies? Is it three? Yeah, it's three copies of Switch. There are some pivoting maneuvers that have to happen here and there. In particular, if Raging Bolt in the active gets hit and it doesn't get knocked out, you can switch to a fresh one. Now you've also got two extra energy to discard and you get to save that Raging Bolt a little longer and you might be pivoting to the Palkia. So lots of options for switching here. I like having the switch cards here. Um, they're great. And then four copies of Nest Ball to get our basic Pokemon down. Last but not least, our energy splits. We've got four copies of water energy, five copies of fighting energy, and three copies of lightning energy. So generally speaking, we want to get a ton of energy on the board with Sada's Vitality, with Palkia, with Sandy Shocks, and attack over and over again with Raging Bolt and just knocking out multi-prize Pokemon. You might find yourself in a position where uh, Raging Bolt isn't necessarily the best attacker, so you're going to have to make some decisions there, whether it's Palkia or Greninja that can take a cheeky snipe here and there. But I feel like this deck has a lot of options for a lot of different decks, and you if you can get the drop on any deck, like just get your engine set up, I feel like this can beat a lot if not any deck in the game maybe it's a little tricky against some of the more annoying single prize decks because of how many knockouts you have to get but i i love that against multi-prizers this kind of has the potential to to beat anything and even against the single prizers palkia can come in and just knock stuff out with only two water energy and not having to discard anything and that's pretty rad too let's go check out these matches okay um little bit of an awkward start here i'm actually gonna go in with the greninja we do have a switch out if need be i kind of don't want to right now like if i i would rather oh interesting they they play hmm. okay future box wanting to go first is a little odd to me but no not out of the realm of possibility like okay so potentially losing asada here the palkia actually a little bit of a liability potentially i'm gonna roll with it anyway yolo <laughs> uh let's go and get the raging bolt down and i am i'm actually going to here let's get rid of the sada actually i'm gonna try and get a fresh seven here let's go and grab a a fighting and a lightning now the reason i'm going for 
And let's throw the fighting in the discard pile. Definitely the deck is skewed towards throwing fighting in the discard pile. Ooh. This is a little different. Okay. I'm going to raging... Uh, yeah, let's attach the lightning. Well, now I feel a little weird. Because I could... Oh. You know what? No, we have to go in. We have to go in. Right? This is what we have to do. We go with the second Raging Bolt. And we are just going to attack right now and say bet. Uh, we're doing 140. They lose the Maridon. And we can figure this out later. Yeah, now it's an Iron Hands with nothing. I like that. Give me an extra turn of setup to figure things out here. Now the the heavy the town store is a little odd. I don't want to give them. Okay, now they get their iron crowns down. I don't want to give my opponent. Ooh, there's another way of going about this. Let's see if they fill their bench. We might be able to get a one shot with a Palkia, which would be kind of sick. Ah, they're gonna they're probably gonna escape and go with them with the Maridon. I would imagine Maridon's coming in. Mm, let's see how we play this. Like, yeah, they're gonna retreat. Now, the the good thing about this strat is that ooh, what are they gonna counter catch her up? Probably the... I'd probably hit the, the Palkia or the Greninja. TBH. They're not going to be able to knock out anything here. So, I think I would... Uh, the Sandy Shocks? They do get a little bit of draw here. Okay. And yeah, power up the Iron Hands. It does suck for them that they can't put the baton on this Iron Hands. So if we found a way to blast this, then they're in trouble. They better get a second Iron Hands. Okay, they're going all in. All right. All right. So 100 on the Sandy Shocks. That is kind of annoying. And unfortunately, Maridon is out of Greninja range. Greninja is only doing 90. They'll put the two energy on the Iron Hands. Maybe they'll drop a Psychic in there too. Let's see how cheeky they get. Now, I guess going in with the Palkia is probably a bad idea now that I'm looking at it. I do want to get some water in the discard pile, but I don't want... Okay, let's go and get one lightning in there. Let's go grab a water and... Yeah, let's grab two waters here. And we could potentially go in with Palkia because Palkia could get one shot on the next turn if we knock out. I don't want to go one for two here on the trade. Okay, uh, we only get a research on that. Okay, I'm not going to take that research then. And let's go with a... I'm going to attach energy to the Palkia... Okay, I'm going to get rid of Town Store and the Water Energy. We're going to get a Palkia V-Star here. And do we... Is it worth super rotting anything right this second? Maybe the Lightning Energy, but that's it. I'm going to use it anyway just because. Like, I'm not going to put... Uh, let's go and actually, you know what? We can't afford to put the energy back because we're going to research now anyway. And we still have two water energy. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. Let's go and research. And we can. Do I energy switch energy? No, I think we just leave it. Like, they, if they want to hit at that point, they have two water, water energy. 
Okay. I think we just wait. Now, where it gets annoying is that this Maridon 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, there's if they get a capsule, they can knock this out with the Maridon, which would be profoundly annoying. So let's see how they play it. They're stuck. They can't draw anything else. We do have to be wary of that Iron Hands being able to one-shot Palkia with Ampy very much at this point and take three prizes. Okay, they're just going to peak acceleration for 100. I don't necessarily hate that for them. Uh, let's go and take... I think we take a Water and a Fighting. Okay, there's an Ancient Booster Capsule. And let's go and get rid of the second Palkia here. And let's go get rid of Water Fighting. Yeah, let's go get rid of this Water Energy. Ugh, that was not... Let's go and see what we brick on that too. Oh my goodness. Okay. That feels bad. Um, I could go in with, okay. Hmm. I don't like this at all. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to attach energy to the raging bolt and let's go research. Maybe we hit a switch card. No, we don't. They can come in and amp you very much this for three, and that feels terrible. Um, I think we... I really don't want that. I really don't want that. Okay. Let's see. Are they going to take the retreat here? They have to get a second energy or another capsule. But if we blow this up, like, that's just kind of it, right? They don't have... Okay, they're going to counter catcher. What are they going to counter catcher? Probably the Palkia, right? If they're going to do it, take the three prizes and cut off my energy acceleration? No? Huh. Okay, I mean... Yeah, they're just going to keep accelerating energy. Then... I guess they could copy Raging Bolt's attack. Oh, no, they're just stalling for time. Okay. Um, how? How are we going to do this? This is very awkward. Okay. They kind of got nothing going on. Let's go and draw up. Ugh. Do I just drag Iron Crown into the active? and then force them to yeah let's just drag iron crown into the active here and there yeah if they do okay do i i, I still don't want to do anything right this second let's go and attach the lightning energy to this raging bolt and I could burst roar, but I kind of like these resources. At the very least, the third Sandy Shocks could be... Uh, is it going to be a factor? No, I'm going to burst roar here. Let's just get rid of all these. Oh, hold up. We, we have like no cards left. <laughs> and we still didn't get... Okay. I've... Oh my goodness. Okay. Can we get Sada's Vitality out here, please? And we'll blast if we stall for time, right? Okay, they're going to research. This game should just end as soon as we hit the Iron Hands. Because the other, the Maridon's not doing enough damage. They've overcommitted their bench to Iron Crowns here. I like the Mew as an, okay, one of the Prime Catcher up. I'd hit the I'd hit the Palkia and take three prizes if I were them. No. Okay, they're gonna hit the the Iron Hands and take three prizes. I don't 
agree with that. But okay. Because they just left me with this thing that can accelerate three energy to itself. Okay. I mean, sure. Now, we have to be very weary of how we use our resources for the rest of this game. Because we very well could run out of cards. Okay. Um, I want to attach energy. Oh, yeah. We use the pal pad. So, okay. Let's go and magnetic absorption. Get some energy here. And I will actually star portal and just give ourselves some extra firepower. Two on the Palkia, one on the grid. Actually, we're going to put all three. Uh, no, we'll spread it out. It's spread. I guess it doesn't matter because we are going to. We're going to let it rip anyway. So we're just going to. We need four energy in the discard pile. So this is going to be two Palkia, one, and one. That should be it. That's 280. And I should have actually gotten the Sandy Shocks down to get more energy back. Okay. Three... Let's see. How, like, I don't see a route where, like, maybe they get another Iron Hands out and we just blast that Iron Hands and this is done. <laughs> but this was an awkward start. Like, an, like a super awkward. Or, yeah, Techno Radar. I think they gotta go Iron Hands here. Thank you for getting rid of that Iono. Okay. And they gotta pray that we don't just blast this Iron Hands on the next go. Oh, God. Okay. Absolutely have to knock that thing out. I think we got him. I think we got him. Okay. They're going to do their peak acceleration for 100. And yeah, we should be fine. And hopefully, hopefully we get Asada's Vitality on the next go around here. We could do a super efficient, like Palkia could hit for two. Eight. There it is. There's the Asada's Vitality. We are going to, ooh, I actually should have, let's go fighting and water. And I will attach another water energy. This time, it doesn't matter. We can attach it to anything. We're going to get rid of it anyhow. And let's go in. Ooh, they don't have the baton. They have the psychic energy, but they don't have the baton. And that's going to be a problem because we are going to blast for another four. And let's go get rid of this water water fighting oh i actually i still screwed this up i still screwed this up i still needed to use i needed to use the ultra ball to get more energy back on the field but that's okay that's okay there's another sada's vitality more energy i think we've got this one in the bag at this point they're not yeah they're just going all in <laughs> on the maridons and you know what? The game can get kind of screwy if we get ourselves to a zero card hand. So let's not do that. And yeah, they're going to shuffle all of that back into the deck anyway. So sure. Yeah, one E-switch. Oh, we've, we lost our two Sandy Shocks, so we can't even get a third one on the field anyhow. All right. Regardless... Uh, the Prime Catcher coming in clutch there, helping us knock out that second Iron Hands before they could get the Baton out so that this thing could uh, smash. And yeah, they that Iron Hands was kind of scary because they could have come in with the Ampy very much, taken three prizes, and like came back. But we got him. Okay. 
Sure, I would accelerate to the Mew at this point. Mew can copy Raging Bolt's attack. This is something I discovered while playing Gardevoir. Uh, Mew can cover... Oh, they don't even have the energy right now. Okay. You know what? Um, oh, actually, yeah, you know what? We're just going to Sada here. And... Yeah, we're playing with our food a little bit. A little bit here. I just want to show, for the demonstration purposes, how hard this deck can hit and how many times we were able to string together these massive attacks. It feels very good to be able to hit for such huge damage. And it's actually decently consistent. I like it. So we will come away with that win. GG's to my opponent. It was a little bit of an awkward start as both of us were uh, just kind of tap dancing there trying to get set up. But ultimately, we were able to just overpower them, blast away those um blast away those iron hands and unfortunately for them they were never able to establish a heavy baton and it's kind of impressive they still got two iron hands set up in spite of the fact they didn't get any heavy batons on the field but regardless we, i'm glad we got the win and i think one of their big mistakes was that they didn't target the palkia they should have just taken the three prizes with the palkia because not only do they take three prizes they also cut off that energy acceleration and being able to accelerate all that energy that time was helpful for being able to pull off multiple bellowing thunders and knocking out multiple iron hands and even yeah we were able to string together attacks that did like 200 300 plus damage on like three consecutive turns which was going to be enough to you know carry us through this win so yeah ggs uh not gonna lie i'm a little salty right now i was in the middle of an amazing match against charizard when i realized i did not hit record and it ended up being like an amazing match i got a greninja snipe in um bridging bolt took out multiple charizards it was great and i can't share any of that because i didn't hit record and now we we have a terrible start and it's probably gonna go downhill from here <laughs> so not too pleased at that this is goldengo oh that's weird i didn't realize you could look at the cards here while we're we're setting up here okay double brick that's actually kind of good for us in the sense that we can give our raging bolt 300 hp off the rip which is going to be great because we're probably going to have to tank a hit here how's everybody doing i'm recording this i don't know if i want to give away when i'm recording this it's a little earlier than when the video you'll finally see it uh euic it's happening before euic maybe raging bolt won the whole thing and I'm going to look like a dumb dummy for uh, not uh, mentioning Raging Bolt won the whole thing. Uh, and that's going to feel kind of bad. Let's go and throw what? I can't throw water in? PTCG Live, what are you doing? Okay, I guess we're just going to grab lightning and fighting then. That feels terrible. Uh, let's go and judge him up. Wow, I've never had that happen to me before. Okay, let's go Ancient Booster Capsule. And now Burst Roar is discard hand and draw six. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, I, I get rid of Asada, so that's fine. I Yeah, one the two research does kind of suck, but we, we get some other stuff here. We get a Palkia. We get a Greninja, we get a setup for Sada's Vitality, and that's okay. Now, hopefully they don't get set up here. I'm kind of hoping. I'm hoping we got a little more time here, but we shall see. Unfortunately, not going to get a Greninja Snipe. I have their Grin Grin they won't get a Greninja Snipe. That's not going to help them at all. So that's good. Really want to give our Raging Bolts 300 HP each. The Sandy Shocks could be kind of annoying. Like, they could just snipe around that. But hopefully we put them in a position where they can't snipe 
around us. They, I know they have Prime Catcher in this deck. That's kind of the go-to. Here comes the Goldengo. And hopefully they're just doing like a little bit of chip damage here. We need to get rid of four energy to knock this out. We can get to three pretty easily. The fourth one, not so sure. And they've got like a whole suite. Oh, they can't attack right now? Oh, that's bad. I mean, that's that's bad for them. And let's go grab a Greninja here. And let's get a Palkia out. And I'm actually going to conceal cards. Get some energy in the discard pile. Poke Gears, nice. We will Sada for two fighting energy. That's pretty cool. We get another Sada, which is nice. However, we kind of don't get... I was hoping for some more of a setup here. Like, we unfortunately are kind of in a bad spot in the sense that I kind of don't want to put... I might have to put a, a capsule on the... Yeah, put a camp capsule on the Sandy Shocks. I don't want that getting blown out right now either. Let's go and... Yeah, we have to take out this Gold Dango. Have to, have to, have to. I know that puts us in a bit of an energy hole, and this is something that I don't like about the deck sometimes, is that thankfully we have the Sada on three Poke Gear. Um, but now we kind of don't have the pieces to restabilize. I mean, we really need if we could get some water in there and maybe palkia can attack in the middle or something but right now it's a little awkward admittedly hopefully they don't have a means of knocking out this raging bolt and we can tank a hit oh they're gonna counter catch her the palkia that's annoying but we do have our switch here okay yeah they're stalling for time that is very good for us let's go and sada up Okay, we're going to go, hold on, where is, what energy do we have here? Oh, okay. I'm going to go, let's go lightning and fighting. And I really hope <laughs> I have more fighting in here. Let's go get rid of, mm, I kind of don't want the town store right now. Yeah, I think we can get rid of the town store and we will go grab ourselves some water and some more fighting i think yeah the one lightning we can hold on to for now and yeah we can turn this into palkia v star we can get rid of the water energy turn that into palkia all right let's go and yeah i think we can switch out into raging bolt and let's go attach some fighting. Now we're only doing 210. So we're one short of knocking out. This is where the vitality band would have been amazing. And unfortunately, we don't have that. So we are kind of stuck at the moment. Palkia, I kind of just want to leave here. Let's go and Bellowing Thunder. We'll get the energy off the Sandy Shocks here. And that should knock out the... Yep, that's going to knock out the Gimme Ghoul. All right, we are off to a great start here. <laughs> Energy switch. We got to get a second Raging Bolt down, though. That's kind of a problem. If they blast this, we're kind of in trouble. Uh, yeah, we're... Uh, we can get... We can have... We can attack with the Sandy Shocks. But it's still kind of awkward. Okay, they get some more energy. They can discard with Radiant Greninja, and I think they've bricked pretty bad, which is why they are in the predicament that they are. Okay, so three fighting. Hopefully we get a... Really hoping for Asada off of Poke Gear, and I hope we can survive oh man they are down bad whoa 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 i actually fought a gold dango deck once where they hit eight eight heads in a row and i almost died uh that was pretty nuts when that happened okay let's go and grab 
a let's get rid of this palkia i don't think we need that let's go water or lightning and water and we can power up actually you know what we can go for a greninja snipe here actually and then we just take out the two gimme ghouls and we're kind of laughing at that point so let's do that actually i'm going to go and attach the lightning energy and let's go star portal for two water on the greninja and we can go and get ourselves a second raging bolt down that's for later and we can actually town store to grab the third ancient booster capsule giving this one 300 hp uh do we want to trap the palkia the palkia is like kind of i mean yeah let's go i'm gonna hold off no let's hold off let's hold off um let's hold off on that and let's just go and snipe and we will go and take take the gold dangles off the board this palkia is not doing much damage let's go and get rid of a lightning and a water here And arguably, I could have put an E-switch to move that lightning energy onto the 300 HP one. But that's okay. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think our opponent got absolutely... Yeah, missing the Goldengo was really bad. And they probably should have... Like, letting us knock out that Goldengo. They probably should have just let it go. And evolved another one when they were better set up and get coughed up one prize versus two but <laughs> yeah not a great look for them i don't even think the sandy shocks are going to get into play here at like oh they even got rid of the energy that feels bad like what what do they have in their hand like to get because they, they have so much energy in the discard pile like that's a now's a great time to to use it. Anyway, uh, we as, as long as we don't get Ionoed and I don't think Goldingo runs hand disruption really. I think we'll be fine. We can just prime catcher and knock out the Greninja with the raging bolt in hand. They might do something else, but okay. Let's let's see what they have. We will entertain them. They will get Palkia rolling here with three energy maybe yeah they're and they're gonna power up the greninja <laughs> but this was rather grim and i think it's unfortunate that at least in this matchup we kind of showed some of the explosive firepower of raging bolt and we were able to ramp back up with the palkia and i kind of attack the fight in a different way with the radiant greninja taking two prizes with the snipe so that's kind of showing off the versatility of the deck um let's see if we can get Asada's vitality here and build up. So what I'm going to do is actually, yeah, we can just go in straight up with the Raging Bolt. I want to... Yeah, we can go in either way. I was going to say, like, in case of emergency, if we brick on Sada on one of these. And just to make sure, yeah, we only have one Sada left if we haven't prized it. I guess we can double check. Okay, we'll let them do their thing. And we can probably put some energy back in the deck afterwards. Okay, let's go and... I'm going to play this out. The I don't think we need the Sandy Shocks. We don't need the Vitality Band anymore. And we can take a look at our deck and see what we have. Yeah, we still have the one side as Vitality. So that's fine. We can thin our deck here a little bit, actually. Let's go and grab this Raging Bolt potentially make it a little easier for us to find that Sada's vitality and we don't hit it on the first one that's a problem how about the second one we get it on the second one there we go all right so let's go and attach a lightning and a fighting and we will attach a water to the sandy shocks and we should be doing oh yeah Oh, yeah. And we just swing for a lot here. 
350 damage absolutely explosive and we get the win there ggs again really unfortunate that our opponent whiffed on the first goldingo setup that's a little bit of a problem but i still think we showcased some of the the big benefits of raging bolt there in the sense that 300 hp on a basic with the the ancient booster capsule really hard to deal with they were still gonna have to find seven energy total six energy in hand plus an energy on attached to the gold dango to take that one shot on the raging bolt and we had our infrastructure set up with the the energy and the sandy shocks and we were able to just take down that first one before they even attacked again i feel like they should have just let the first gimme ghoul get ko'd and give themselves an extra turn to set up without having to cough up two prizes and then in the middle of the game there we could have gone in with palkia straight up but instead we're able to use palkia star portal instead of using it as a way to power up raging bolts attack able to power up greninja and get a two snipe attack there leaving them with only the palkia and we still were able to sada once again and absolutely destroy this palkia for another massive hit ggs there we go that is a look at raging bolt ex with the sandy shocks and the palkia L admittedly before playing the deck i had some concerns about raging bolt as an attacker like how do you keep enough energy on the board so that it can consistently do big damage and between the sandy shocks and the palkia and the sada's vitality it's not that hard to do and you're not going to necessarily hit those big attacks all the time but i feel like you can do it a lot of the time and you have some alternative attack options as well between the palkia and the greninja and sometimes even sandy shocks as a alternative attacker if need be this deck is a ton of fun to play and it hits really hard and maybe it's not in the mix right now as like a top tier deck but i think it's a very strong rogue tier that can take wins against pretty much anything in the meta if you can get rolling but that's going to be it for me let me know if you enjoy raging bolt we're definitely going to come back to raging bolt down the road again there are so many different ways of playing raging bolt that i kind of want to explore all of them and i hope you want to watch more videos of me trying out raging bolt and other decks and if you do definitely hit the subscribe button on this and you can also find me on other things youtube tiktok twitter and instagram at in third person you can find me on twitch at in third person where i stream the pokemon training card game every sunday at 10 a.m eastern time and check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits so until the next one i'll see you later Bye bye